Welcome to this video. In this video, I want to talk about how to find the needed transaction code in the SAP system. Because basically, transaction codes play a huge role with working with the SAP system within the SAP GUI. So basically, here right now, we can simply type in the transaction code in the command field and then directly the, the transaction is executed. So what is the alternative? You have basically to open up the transaction SA38 and then right here you can also execute the program that is behind the transaction code but basically yeah um, I think the the most programs are not known and yeah you should have also some limited access to the SA38 so basically that's why yeah um, transaction codes are so important and now I would like to show you how you can easily find the transaction code. So there are multiple steps, multiple solutions to do. And um, first of all, you can open up the transaction code SE16T. And this is in general a great transaction to uh, have access for search functions. So basically here we can see that there are some yeah some some application areas by the way you can define also some application areas on your own when you just simply yeah, click on this create application area you can create your own search functions but here we would like to use the search function execute uh, or find transaction and here basically then this right area will open up where you can type in transaction search term and so right now we would like to search for a transaction code um, that allows us to display purchase orders so we simply type in display purchase order then we hit the enter key and then right here all the transaction codes are listed and for example the me23n if we click on this then we will directly jump into this transaction code there we can see what this transaction does and if this is the right transaction for all purposes so with the three key we can jump back uh, yeah, you can you can uh, for example also change your text hit the enter key then the output will change So there you have also the ability because right now we search for the area text You can also yeah search left align do an exact search um, Yeah, you can search for all languages um, what you like to if you like to remove those settings, then you just simply yeah click once again on those buttons. This is really really great um, yeah to to use this. Then we will move over to the data browser to open up the transaction code SE16N because that is an additional solution for our needs. And here there is the table TSTC. So this is a very important table that contains information about about the SAP transaction codes in general and then the corresponding table TSTCT is the table we need because they are based on a language so for example EN for English we can type in our text so basically description of a SAP transaction code so in our case we would like to once again type in display purchase order with an asterisk because then we can do a wildcard search with the F8 key we can execute this selection and then here right now we once again see this transaction code the ME23N um, this is really nice for example if we would like to search in German for DE whatever you like to this is the table you need to use in order to find all the transactions based on the texts uh, then we will have a third solution we can open up the SE93 transaction code this is the transaction code to maintain transactions so basically here you can also use the F4 help and then you can search within the search help for any yeah, transaction code so basically here once again we type in display purchase order with asterisk to do a wildcard search then we can execute it and then here right now we see again our transaction code ME23N 
um, yeah, this is also really, really great. Then if we open up another transaction code, it's the search underscore SAP underscore menu. And within this uh, transaction code, you can enter a transaction code or menu text to show um, based on our needed transaction. For example, here we can type in purchase order. In this case, you don't uh, need to add an asterisk at the beginning and at the end. This will automatically be added and then we can execute it. And then here also in this column transaction code, all the transaction codes will be listed where within any node in menu, yeah, the, the, the searched uh, string is is uh, there. So yeah, also, also really nice in case to search for, yeah, within the menu. And then uh, another solution is that we jump to our start menu. In this case, the area menu S000 is shown. So if you have set up an own start menu in the user uh, profile, then you can open up this area menu when you enter the ID in the command field. And then here we can see, yeah, very, very important uh, transactions grouped in this tree structure and basically with the key combination control and F you have the ability to find in this menu tree so for example here you can specify whether you would like to search just in the text just in the technical names or the transaction codes or in both and in our case once again we type in purchase order and then we click on this find button and yeah, basically then the first uh, node will be selected where uh, the uh, string is involved. So and now here uh, this node, this folder is highlighted purchase order. And if we open this up, then we have also all the relevant transaction codes within here. Uh, in my case, because just the first entry is shown, if you just would like to get to know uh, every node, then you can also open up the SE43N transaction code and then type in the ID, so S000. And then you can click on the display and then once again use Control F and then type in purchase order hit enter and now we've seen every entry so for example if you double click on one entry then you will highlight also this node and once you've clicked on additional information transaction code display on off you will also see within here the technical key the transaction code so these are a couple of steps and solutions how you can find needed transaction codes within the SAP system. Um, yeah, take the solution that fits for you best. And then, of course, in the favorites, then you can, of course, add favorites. So once you click here, add to favorites or right click and then in the transaction and then here you can enter your transaction that you found out so then you can also uh, click on continue and then this transaction has been added to your favorites folder and for example if you would like to create a favorite out of uh, the transaction itself then you can also open up the transaction so i would like to add the se16 to my favorites right now it's not there then i will open this up so se16 and then within the command uh, field there you can use percent underscore G C A D D F. Then just simply hit the enter key, and then right now nothing happens. But if you go back with the three key or slash n, then we can see that this transaction has been added to your favorites. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button, add a comment if you have any questions left, and please. Do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to never miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.